Good evening, everyone. Welcome to this regular public meeting of the TF City Council on November the 23rd. And without any further ado, I want to welcome everybody. And for the opening word, dear colleagues, let's have the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Thank you. So the meeting is called to order. We have a quorum, a virtual one, that is. But we have a quorum, which allow us to go on with the next uh, step. Step five, conflict of interest, if there's any. The members of the uh, municipal council, is there any conflict of interest to be declared? I see names everywhere. Those who have a conflict of interest, if you would indicate it, please. No indication. Let's continue with the adoption of the agenda. A motion to move by Councillor Alcino, seconded by Councillor Leboutier, that we adopt the agenda that was presented to us. All those in favor of the resolution say aye. We. Oui. Yes. <laughs> Contrary reminded me. So the agenda is adopted as presented. Item number 7.1. Sorry. We, we just did the adoption agenda. I should check off 7.1 inquiries by council members for the Kodiak Regional RCMP. So, Mr. Ouellet, Gullet, you should be on the call. Good evening, Your Worship. Good evening, members of council. Good evening. Do you have anything for us? Normally, I go the other way around. Well, I have two special points that I would like to join with you and the councillors and the public. I want to clarify as to what is happening in the greater mountain since Saturday. Maybe you've been made aware of a checkup that the New Brunswick Public Safety is doing with the assistance of the Kodiak RCMP. Some checking with all public locations to see if uh, COVID-19, the regulations are being followed and to see if everything is operating duly and properly. We've had over 400 check up in the Greater Moncton since Friday night and they will continue for a few more days until Wednesday. But until now, a very little percentage of people are at fault, up to 95, 97% of the businesses, stores are in order. So there's been very few problems, if any. <laughs> Second thing, as everyone probably know, the event that happened at the National Bank uh, this week, I want to report to the councillors that following an investigation, uh, a quick investigation, the investigators were able to uh, find the suspect and the car and confirm some evidence that could help to lay charges uh, against an individual. Everything went very well and the investi investigation was fruitful and uh, everything went very well. Very well, thank you very much for this information. Is there any question from the councillors? I don't see any. 
So, while things must be improving gradually, slowly but surely, we're very happy. And we ask you to keep going in the same direction. So, we will keep working every day and on all small problems and big problems in the greater Moncton and especially the Thank you once again. As always, you're welcome to stay with us. We'll understand if you have to leave. Good night. Good evening, everyone. Item 7.2, we have a presentation uh, for Habitat for Humanity. Ms. Chantal Landry is with us to talk to you uh, about that project. Good evening. Good evening, Your Worship and Counselors. So, yes, it's to talk about Habitat for Humanity in the Moncton area. One, to tell you who we are, what we do, and we take for granted that everybody knows what we do and to talk about our future projects also. First of all, we are a social organization. We exist in Southeast New Brunswick for 25 years. Our, our business is Restore, located on Mountain Road. It takes uh, uh, grants from other business and from people in the area, and we do a little bit of everything. The profit covers all our operational costs, all our expenses, my salary, our rent, everything is paid for by the, the store. So when we have fundraising, it gives us an opportunity to do a mission. Our mission is to have families to be able to access the, an affordable uh, house in the past. It's always been to be owner of a of a house. We're very proud to be able to say that we have houses in the app. We have projects as far as Miramichi, all over southeastern. But our purpose, our objective, is to in, increase our impact with the project. So we took a pause for the time being. We move the store. We change team. We change building so we really reorganize everything to have more impact and we're ready to go ahead we were ready this year but under circumstances we said let's take a break the house uh, will suffer somewhat but now we're going ahead we're less worried our store is doing well but now we're planning to build a house in the on a lot that the gave us uh, quite a few years ago on Jog Street at the corner of Amiro. If you drive by there, you saw a sign. Well, it's subject to change because to find a family for that house. But really, the way it works with the property, with humanity, is there, there's like a gap that exists in the lodging, access to the building, the house is probably rented, but it's not accessible to everybody. We know that the rental, the rent is going up all the time. We give opportunity to people who don't have the capacity of saving money to make a payment, and a deposit with a traditional mortgage. We have a mortgage, but it's non-traditional. They don't have to make any deposit, they pay no interest. Their monthly payment is always based on their income, uh, the family uh, income for the whole family. We offer a lot of uh, security for the family. We have support in our selection process to become an end owner. And even after you become an owner, well, we have the security if anything happens where their income changes and it goes down. See, if they want to go back to school, if there's a disease in the family, because it happens in life, they can come to see us to make a plan with them to lower their monthly payment and to have an action plan 
uh, with them to make sure that they can have the necessary uh, income. We have that for those families. And also, they will have financial uh, capacity. We uh, have them with that. We make them meet with financial planners so that not only we will put them in the house because they, play, they pay the, the full market price for the house, but we want them to plan for the future, either for their children or for themselves. And not only to become more responsible as owner, but also as an individual. And when we build a house, when raising uh, wives, uh, uh, we have to, it's important that we bring the whole community together. We talk to the neighbors, we, uh, we introduce them, we make presentation to the city. We try to involve as many person, as uh, many people, and uh, we have uh, volunteer, not 100%. We need a carpenter, electrician, plumbers, and whatnot. But really, there's a lot of things that volunteer can do. That's where we start involving people who come with us to have an affordable house for people from the area, their family that, that are working. Um, last week, as a matter of fact, the family on Golvin Road in the app came to pay the mortgage uh, completely. It's been 18 years this month that they've been in the in the house. That's unbelievable. Uh, they were nervous. She was nervous. She was happy. I don't know if I can say myself that in 20, 25 years my mortgage would be paid, but she was very proud. It was not only the pride of having paid off the mortgage, but also the life completely changed due to the fact that as an owner, she had an opportunity and the life of her children went to higher school, uh, to high school in Moncton. They were able to live in their community, to live in a community where they wanted to be. They wanted to be part and parcel of that community. So we have that opportunity when we uh, have an urban or rural community. So, so that's it. I don't have my PowerPoint, so I don't know what direction I'm going into, but that's what I wanted to let you know. One other thing that Habitat Canada, because we evaluate how we have the family through lodging. Yes. Uh, it's important to have access to the property. It helps the family a lot, but some families are not ready for that step. It's a big step. It takes a lot of energy uh, uh, on our part for us. It costs a lot of money. It's a lot of resources involved. And we try to uh, uh, avoid building houses, either detached houses or uh, semi-detached or uh, Row housing, which is very popular in the end. <clears throat> we uh, look at these opportunities, but we say, is there other models that exist that could help the family to build fi uh, financial resources without being owner for of a house? We look uh, models of, of lifestyle that is a model to help uh, build financial resources, but what other way can we have the family to go forward? So Habitat Canada presently is working on a three-year plan, a strategic plan, and it includes how we can do it nationally to help as many families as possible and change the life of family. When we say family, we think about two parents and children, but really we have to think what are the needs of the community in which we live? Is it an individual? Is it older people? Is it people with uh, physical needs? Uh, are they couple? Is it single uh, parents? We really have to look at the needs in the community. We have to know that we're not building just to build. We're building according to the needs of the community, any given community.
So, partnership with Bizuparty, such as Dieppe, we receive uh, some lots on Jacques. That's the second lot received. We have a family on the neighboring lot next to this one, called me family. But how can we continue that partnership with the municipality to give us some lots or other services that we can take advantage of? We can also renovate some existing houses. We got some donation from the family gov uh, government in the rural area. We were able to uh, take them and find families that want to live there. So it cost us less resources and we can find a resource for these houses. So that is also a possibility. So we try to be very open to all the opportunities that uh, present themselves. So how can we go forward and have a, a lodging for people in the community? What would be the reason why well, I wanted to be here to let you know if ever the city of Dieppe had other opportunities to establish a partnership with Habitat. We would be happy to have the discussion. If you have a question, if you really want to know in what direction we go into, it's one, two, three, four, five years in the future that you want to look at. These are nice opportunities. There are resources also. The more creative we can be, the more resources that will exist. And it's fun because it means that we can have more people or a greater uh, number of uh, persons. Yes, thank you. Thank you for the presentation. It is the third house that the city of Dieppe has provided a house in the first two houses. A group of employees uh, gave some volunteer time according to their availability on weekends and something like that to help also. So it's a project in which we believe a lot and we wish to be able to continue that relationship with Habitat for Humanity. I don't know if there's any question from the councillors for Ms. Landry. Mr. Gaudet, thank you, Your Worship. I congratulate you for the work that you're doing. It's not easy. The reason it's not easy, I assume, that a lot of families are looking for that opportunity. And the question that I have, in what way do you do the triage? If a hundred families uh, would have the hope of having their own house. You can raise a, a house, a family in the house. Can you comment on that? Especially a house in Dieppe. It's a good question. What are the, cre the, cre uh, the criteria for eligibility? They have to make a certain salary according to their family size. They must have uh, give 500 hours of uh, volunteer work on their house or elsewhere. It must not have declared bankruptcy in the last three years. And to have more partnership to work financially speaking uh, with uh, partners that to be uh, resident, permanent residents or citizens of Canada. No, residents. And of course, to have uh, an, a need, we look at the size of uh, the place where they live now, today, the uh, security, what is their need? And to give you an example, we have a family of 10 persons in a three bedroom apartment. The need is there, I mean, there's no question. We have families where you go see the house and it's not uh, safe. It's based on the need and the capacity to pay a mortgage also. So we have an intensive, a very intensive uh, analysis of the family. 
we meet the whole family. We ask a lot of questions. So we learn their story. Why do they want to become an uh, owner? And it can become very intensive moment in the selection, just in the selection. I can send you more do documentation as to our criteria. Thank you for clarifying it because I was always curious because there must be hundreds of families that have that dream and it's not easy. Thank you. I invite Ms. Merci, Monsieur le Maire. Thank you, Your Worship. Madame Landry, uh, Ms. Landry, Ms. Landry, I find that you're doing fantastic work. I was wondering, vos familles, uh, quand on parle la uh, for your family, when we talk about the enfants, traditional family, the father, la the mother, and the children, what is the largest family you have accommodated so far? What was the greatest, the largest? <laughs> I haven't been there 25 <laughs> years, but... Uh, from what I remember, the largest family was seven, five children Cinq and enfants. parents. Est-ce que vous avez eu des demandes des Did nouveaux arrivés, des personnes uh, application qui sont from newcomers, arrivés au Canada dans les dernières années, in the last, uh, few pour qu'ils soient résidents du Canada? They Mais must le, be residents of Canada. Combien de temps qu'il faut qu'ils soient résidents du Canada? How long must they be residents of Canada? Three years? As long as they have their a uh, permanent ship, they have a card for permanent oui. residence, then they are okay. Beaucoup. Thank you very much. <coughs> Thank you. Someone else? From uh, the cut. I don't see anyone else indicate their wish on that. Miss Landry, once again, thank you for your cooperation, for your work, and the pleasure of talking about a fourth one. Good evening. It brings us to presentation. It's getting warm. Let's uh, cool us a little bit, cool down. The presentation of the snow and ice removal where our two uh, famous sh shovelers, Mr. Dubé and Mr. Le Breton, our two shovel uh, expert, welcome to the two of you. And the floor is yours, a presentation on snow and ice. Mr. Mr. Mayor, I don't know if the presentation, if the presentation uh, can we load the PowerPoint, please? Presentation? The PowerPoint, the PowerPoint that we gave, I don't know. Where is it? You have to share your oh, screen. Mais on peut dire. <laughs> well, they didn't tell me that. Peux-tu peux passer un autre sujet? Je vais préparer ça. Puis après If ça, je vais something it. else, I'll prepare it and come back. Okay. Maybe someone with more experience. The public hearing for a rezoning application. Alexandre. Gérard, Alexandre, if you're available, I know. Alexandre has uh, worked more than once with Zoom and uh, presented a discussion. We talk about public hearing for a rezoning application on Burke Road. Without any further delay, Alexandre, thank you, worship. Members of council, I will share my screen. You see the presentation, yes. As uh, His Worship the Mayor mentioned, we are presently a public hearing for a rezoning application on Burke Road. So, like uh, every public hearing, we we'll go through the important dates and the pro uh, process of rezoning and what is the application, what are they asking for exactly. So, if we go back to October 20, uh, 27, the council fixed a date for the public hearing on October 26, and the recommendation of the PAC, we sent, we put notice on our website to inform the public, and we sent a notice in a 100 meter uh, radius uh, to tell them about what we intend to discuss today. We're in public hearing right now. Uh, Besides uh, the recommendation of the PAC, the Planning Advisory uh, Committee, 
and the fine will come back to you on January the 11th uh, for to a decision. So the property in question is located approximately the corner of Melanson Road and Berg Road. <laughs> you have an aerial view in front of you. So here is a different uh, picture, but we represent the neighboring uh, property uh, land. It's a land that is surrounded uh, essentially by vacant land or land with uh, single family uh, dwellings. So the map in front of you is the zoning map. And as you can see, it are two but predominant zoning, the R1, that is the uh, zoning of the land per se, and RHM, uh, as you can see, RHM is predominant in the sector. And finally, the application in question, the promoters wish to rezone the property to accommodate two row houses uh, for a total of 11 lodging. And if I remember correctly, there was a question uh, by uh, Madame Le Boutillier, so at three bases. So here, this is for two row houses, uh, two bases with 11 lodging. So you see here uh, a perspective of the architecture of the building. There will be garages attached to the building to accommodate uh, the parking on the site and the material that will be chosen uh, to cover it uh, will be some stone metallic siding and also uh, some wood. So we will leave some, uh, the promoter to elaborate the material that they intend to use and to talk more in detail as to their vision of the project. So as far as legal change, the zoning map, this is what is proposed. We would change the zone of the property from R1 to RHM to accommodate this project. So you have in front of you the deadline for the next dates. And before I complete my public hearing, I've received uh, no concerns, no comments uh, from uh, the uh, sector. So at this time, the comment uh, period uh, has concluded without having to communicate more with the neighbors and without comments. So before I uh, ask the promoters to speak, is there any questions? from the councillors. Question, Mr. Cormier, followed by Mr. Thibodeau. Mr. Cormier, on va y aller avec Mr. Thibodeau en premier, alors Mr. Thibodeau, allez-y. Mr. Thibodeau, thank you, Your Worship. First question, does it allow enough space for snow removal? Is there space between each house? Well, I'll bring you to the screen here. So, in fact, it's a typical uh, row uh, houses where the uh, asphalt uh, sector will be 50% uh, of the frontage. There will be places uh, to bank that snow. And uh, I, I show you on a cursor and there's a, a proximity of the row house. As for the snow removal, we don't see any concern. Okay, fine. Another question, if I may. I see there is a stream or brook in the past. Is there enough space between the houses and the brook to protect the, the brook in question? It's a very good question. The promoters have already undertaken discussion with the Department of the Environment. 
they went to obtain a permit uh, to integrate within the zone. Uh, the Department of the Environment doesn't see any concern with the project that, that was presented. They've given a, a, a permit, a license to develop uh, inside that zone with some conditions. If the developers uh, says to go ahead uh, to sell it, well, the, the newcomers will have to respect the conditions uh, that were uh, assigned by the Department of uh, the Development. Thank you, Your Worship. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Cormier. Thank you, Your Worship. One of my question was answered by the third one, considering the proximity of Burke Road with 11 exit on Burke Road, can it represent problems for uh, traffic problems? No. Well, after the discussion we've had, I call it Remy from the engineering uh, service. He doesn't foresee any problem as far as the traffic is concerned. It will increase uh, slightly the traffic in the entrance on Burke Road, but no, there was no uh, comments or no concern raised uh, to that end. Thank you. We will all take that road as a nice road. Someone else? Mr. Boutier. Thank you, Your Worship. My question has to do with the the space, the development, and multifamily houses that you are presenting here will really touch our single family dwelling. Well, the single family dwelling will be able to see those new, uh, two new buildings. We'll go and see. You see my cursor, my mouse? Yeah. Well, I imagine this house will probably see one of the row house in question, but I don't uh, foresee that the the other houses uh, will uh, face it. But as I can see on the plan, the row houses would uh, be here. There's one house that might have uh, a view uh, of the uh, row houses in the future, since the uh, land is much uh, larger than the developer expect to build up to the end of the property. This time, if he's able, is not something that we look at because the application is for the project that you have in front of you, but if you decide to try with a project that can go ahead with more unit, the question will be debated in the, by council uh, for amendment to the condition of uh, the zoning. Thank you. Thank you. So, Mr. Landry, you have something to add? Yes. I will share my screen again because he has a short presentation. I will uh, leave the floor to Mr. Landry, the developer, to discuss with the council. Voilà. There. Landry, the floor is yours. Bonsoir, uh, Monsieur Lamar, Good evening, Your Worship, and members of the Council. Donc, ça, uh, public, we just wanted to add uh, a few details. Show you the 3D Donc, that we developed for the land. Nous, 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 to make a passable, acquire the life uh, for the neighbors, uh, the 
We have no intentions of developing anything in the future, and the stream is too close to the road. Alexandre, can you move to the next picture? The development really will be on the land that has already been developed on the left photograph here and on the right. 3D rendering, uh, de notre 3D rendering project. that project. So Let's go to the third page. Du, this is a, a view of the development per se. And the fourth page show a view from the back, um, a walk-on basement. Uh, no, no, the back, one of our vocal uh, is the... Uh, the water uh, course in the back. I've answered most of the questions, but if you have more questions, don't hesitate. Thank you. Does the presentation bring more questions than the one that have been answered already by the counselors? I don't see any uh, more questions. No. I don't see any. So, thank you for the presentation. Thank you, Mr. Gerard, Mr. Landry, for your presence, your virtual presence. And the process will go on during the next few weeks. Good luck. So, we go backward. Let's go back in the snow. Okay. Mr. Dubé, thank you, Mr. Breton. Excusez-moi pour la. Sorry. De recrue de Zoom. Yeah, about the mistake by a recruit uh, with Zoom. I did not share there. Uh, Let me share the screen there. The presentation the presentation. We'll have to face it. I'll make a presentation and my partner will make one and I'll come back. The presentation for the public work and, its, and recreational uh, installation. As you see, the introduction, we have 170 kilometers of uh, streets uh, to uh, 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 snow snow removal represents 360 kilometers and 60 kilometers of uh, uh, sidewalks, 1521 fire hydrant, 36.5 kilometers of trails, 32 parking, and 87 uh, dead end. Our public work uh, equipment, we have uh, five uh, trucks uh, with uh, shovel in the front, and we use it also for uh, spray, uh, spreading of salt and, uh, and 12 uh, chargers, uh, two blowers, uh, one uh, tractor with a blower, and five uh, tractor for the sidewalks. Uh. Uh, les des routes, the classification of the streets, you see them. Priority two one, three, two and three. three. Uh, the, uh, uh, large uh, arteries, for instance, Acadia Miro Champlain. Priority two are collect uh, collector uh, streets, uh, Bourg Central de France. And priority uh, three are local uh, streets, uh, example, uh, Maria Orléans and Marguerite. Here you have an overview of uh, the map in relation to the road P1, P2. You can find this on our website, and there's more details there. The uh, snow removal operation, initial uh, intervention, sometimes 24 hours before the, the plow, we spread some 69% uh, 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 water and salt. It's good uh, as 
Puis, uh, it's called the minus 15. And it becomes white uh, on the ash fall. It stops the snow from, from sticking uh, to the ash fall. La durée des opérations de neigement est important. Par exemple, si on prend 20 cm de neige, c'est la durée des opérations. Dans les opérations de neigement, le déneigement des routes. Trottoirs, les stationnements, les boutons pour les traverses de piétons, parking, euh, les traverses de piétons, les abribus, et le blanchissement de certaines intersections, euh, les bonnes fontaines, et les fire-hydrants à chaque intersection, le blanchissement des rues si nécessaire. Et si le, if, uh, je pense que ça, ça commence, c'est parce que le dernier flocon de neige est tombé lors de le, le chronomètre qui commence pour uh, cette uh, année de temps. Si qu'on est dans le If Donc, we are de, de, en train de déneiger uh, jusqu'à 20, mettons, 20 cm are, de neige, puis nous remuons 10 cm de neige, et en attendant de l'opération, ça recommence à zéro. Ça nous donne un aperçu de ce que ça prend. Le temps que ça prend. Les opérations de déneigement, si on a passé tantôt, on a passé tantôt. Ça fait des bois là. Donc, ici, ils sont. Euh, Qu'est-ce qui peut varier so euh, peut vary, affecter l'opération aussi, c'est le type de neige, le uh, fondant uh, kind of, uh, uh, de l'eau, la température, uh, etc. Snow, the outside, uh, les précipitations pendant les opérations, comme je disais tantôt. And, uh, Puis aussi, il ne faut pas oublier qu'il y a encore des problèmes. That there can be a break up of the equipment. The objective is uh, to clean uh, all the streets neige, within uh, hours following uh, snowfall. Of 30 cm et plus. Si c'est au-dessus de 30 cm, as 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 aussi, la suite, c'est enlever et transporter la neige de stationnement et de passer à son nom de parking plus 1604 et Champlain et Marché within 96 heures après le déneigement des fontaines sont effectués et aussi la de la snow and, uh, en collaboration avec le service de hydrant, on a quand même des choses qui sont comme uh, une priorité en coopération avec le département de la fire uh, une si nous n'avons pas de snow ou un hydrant qui aura une location on souhaitait ça, mais si jamais il y a un feu ça sera un peu comme nous appeler puis on y est le fireman peut nous appeler et on va être là immédiatement pour nous aider à enlever le snow de ce fire hydrant pour les cul-de-sac pour les cul-de-sac nous avons deux types de cul-de-sac nous avons 67 67 que nous distribuons à tous les résidents. Euh, C'est un peu difficile ici. It's somewhat uh, difficult here because we have 87 sur 100 dead end and not one. Ça fait uh, uh, one the next one, we Maybe try to so have a consistency. Uh, ça fait les ceux so, uh, qui ne sont pas those qui ne pas la neige également tout le monde sont sont dans le prochain des sites, c'est une cité. Donc, on ne peut pas mettre le snow, même si on est là. Dead end, on a 20. Il y a 16 qu'on met au centre, on a 4. Il y a 4 qui sont dans le centre, il y a 4 qui sont dans le centre, il y a 4 qui sont dans le centre, il y a 4 qui sont dans le centre, c'est au besoin. Ça fait according to the need. Qu'est-ce qui se passe pour ces cultures-là? Quand on arrive, on fait une pause égale à tout le monde. Après ça, on revient et on place la neige au centre. On revient et on place la neige au centre. On revient et on place la neige au centre. On revient et on place la neige au centre. On revient et on place la neige au centre. On revient et on place la neige au centre. On revient et on place la neige au centre. On revient et on place la neige au centre. On revient et on place la neige au centre. On revient et on place la neige au centre. On revient et on place la neige au centre. On revient et on place la neige au centre. On revient et on place la neige au centre. On revient et on place la neige au centre. On revient et on place la neige au centre. On revient et on place la neige au centre. On revient et on place la neige au centre. On revient et on place la neige au centre. On revient et on place la neige au centre. On revient et on place la neige au centre. On revient et on place la neige au centre. On revient et on place la neige au centre. On revient et on place la neige au centre. On revient et on place la neige au centre. On revient et on place la neige au centre. On revient et on place la neige au centre. On revient et on place la neige au centre. On revient et on place la neige au centre. On revient et on place la neige au centre. On revient et on place la neige au centre. On revient et on place la neige au
Ça a bien fonctionné With cette the, année. Uh, uh, Eric only. Uh, Eric uh, only. Qui est contracteur, des entrepreneurs. Et well, uh, uh, we have a contractor que we, we use for have uh, a short and interest. Those who don't know. 2050 rue Champlain. It's 2050 Champlain uh, uh, Street. This is a small map to locate to tell you where is that snow deposit. Passe au trottoir, sur la clarification des trottoirs, sur le trottoir B1, les trottoirs B1, les artères à fort débit de circulation, sur les trottoirs B1, 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 les For priority uh, two, the de la, there's the sidewalks in uh, uh, uptown, along the aquatic center and sports center, and also the uh, sidewalk on the area where heavy is the traffic. The objective is to remove the snow within three days following the removal of the This is Jonathan. Uh, Porsche, right? Uh, your worship, members of council, for the installation, we have seven uh, uh, sector of uh, working, and also the Rotary Park inside on the time with the removal of uh, snow removal of two outside uh, uh, ice surface and preparation for uh, a ski. The operation of snow removal for recreational, uh, recreational we have 52 and 26.7 uh, of trail. Snow removal, that's about 70% of the trails. Yeah, they, I don't know if you can change the slide. Yeah, so there. This probably has 52.5 kilometers as Eric uh, did. We have uh, two trail tractors. Uh, to clean uh, it, uh, one tractor versatile with a uh, snowblower and two trucks to pick up and one a spreader a truck and two a snowmobile and uh, one uh, for the ski resort the same principle as public work similarly uh, we have around the school and around The places that are used more often, we clean within 24 hours, but the trails around the schools is very heavy traffic. And the more it's 13 kilometers, we have to remove the snow. For priority two, this is somewhat different. P2 is on uh, ordinary working hours and about five a total of uh, trails. P2 is a distance of 23.5 kilometers an hour. As you see, this is the same principle as before. It's the map for uh, the sidewalks and the trails. It's Eric again to continue with fire hydrant. Merci, uh, Thank you, voici, uh, nous avons un Here we have uh, a program. Uh, We've had it for many years to adopt. Uh, it's uh, for the citizens, the residents, do they have one in front of their home, home or close by the kids and dog? And they assume the snow removal. Or you can see on the website city.ca you want to take the steps if ever you adopt a fly hydrant for whatever reason you can't uh, remove the snow. If we go by, it's, it's, uh, it's not clean, we'll do it, but it, it is appreciated if you can do it. To uh, make easy the work of our uh, team, it's not to plan uh, to park uh, during the night on Municipal Street, not to uh, put the snow from a driveway on the street, not to park in a way of hindering the passage of uh, snow removal equipment. Uh, 
if a tractor goes by, well, it's very hard for us because if there is one uh, to avoid uh, uh, making the, the tire squeal intersection, we ask the people not to be too heavy on the gas and to put the garbage in a place where we won't hinder the operation of the removal. The people know when uh, the trucks are going by for uh, uh, garbage collection. So let's just be careful and also to clean the adjacent uh, uh, wells if there's a water hole. Sometimes it saves a lot of uh, problems uh, when there's a, a tower or something. And also to place the snow on, on the side where you face the street. If you put it on the other side, you go by with the with the plow. So this is what I had to say. Do you have any questions for either one of us? Thank you, gentlemen. Question from the councillors. Thank you, Worship. You said we had two uh, skating rings. The two on outside the uh, skating at the Rotary Park. Two. I will answer the question. Yes, we have two skating ring, one for hockey or and I get for a sports uh, team, and one uh, skating ring for uh, skating. Right now, we are checking to see if we will open mm. them because of uh, the crisis. Excuse me, is it the two lakes? Are the two lakes? No, no. I don't know if you know where Je uh, the oh. park, oui. the Rotary Jedo, behind that is where we have to, uh, there's a cabin, but I mean, it's 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 okay. right, it's, it's in the back of the, must be five, six years, maybe more, seven, eight, seven, eight years that uh, we've yeah, had it. Cool. Thank you very much. Thank you. Next question. No question. Wow. That's a real snow job. That's a real snow job. <laughs> But thank you uh, for your presentation. Thank you. And we hope we hope we won't have too much snow, as little as possible. This being said, I will go on to the no, sorry, question from the public. No question from the public. Mr. Sima. Zimar was there a few minutes ago. Nothing? No, no question from the public, Your Worship. Thank you. So, item nine adoption of the minutes for the regular meeting of November the 9th, last. For the motion, moved by Councillor Gadet, seconded by Councillor Leblanc. On the question, no question on the minutes. November the 9th, all those in favor say aye. Reminded nay. Thank you. Resolution is carried as presented. That brings us to item 10, motion and uh, memorandum nomination. Mr. Melanson, office to, to uh, introduce uh, uh, each uh, guidelines that uh, we've adopted in the past that may, maybe we will uh, make public. Yeah, make public. So I'll leave it to on that. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. We have a series of guidelines, seven in all, that will be made public tonight. The first one is blue. Uh, the construction limited it's a file there was pile of an expropriation that was undertaken for the extension of college street 
So at this time, we have an agreement concluded between the two parties for an amount $32,500. The file is closed on that issue. And the second one, the province told us that they have piece of land that was taken back by the province on the uh, city of Dieppe uh, territory. They, we were approached to know if we had an interest to uh, acquire it. And the recreational service uh, evaluated or assessed that it was part of our future uh, trail and network. So the municipality informed the public that we acquired the property that is located at 1068 Chartersville Road for an amount of $26,400. Third, the financing of uh, uh, Melanson Road to uh, a developer proposed a development a project on the territory on Melanson Road. The municipal uh, service were not there following the the, the staff saw an opportunity, a partnership with the city, the developer, and the residents of that territory that would allow us to make savings with the services that would be brought about with that project. <clears throat> and since the project was not part of our five-year plan in the capital project, we went to get uh, a guideline from the project and we integrated in our five-year project the council gave us a guideline to integrate it in our five-year program it was adopted and as you have seen the developing project was proposed to the city and it was undertaken with the developer the preliminary study for strategic plan for collective uh, transportation to give us a clear vision and a plan of action for the municipality. Transweb Canada was retained to develop a strategic plan, $27,000 that was invented and that is not finished and a report will be presented very in the near future. A transition of signing of an agreement between the International Grid among the area, Transacqua and the city of Dieppe. The airport and identifies one of his projects, the management of uh, untowing uh, material that was supposed to develop in Axel Ridge up to the installation of Sansequa. A three party uh, agreement was undertaken, each party accepted in principle that agreement. So we're asking the municipality, the municipal council, to uh, sign it. And that was realized the agreement is in place and the agreement is as specified by the parties. Number six, adoption of structure of financing with expansion DF and the uh, DF industrial part to assure stability towards the economic long-term development, economic development uh, financing plan was adopted. So the city inject $500,000 in expansion DF in 2020 or 2021, we supply the equity to pay the uh, everything that is needed for the financing of the ex uh, expansion of uh, the city. Give expansion the 100 percent of tax uh, brought in by new development sector, uh, aviation sector, including the land that is not developed but already sold for the five years following completion of new development. A third, city of Dieppe gives expensive of 100% of tax of municipality of not sold you know, at the aviation as long as the government of New Brunswick accept to do the same thing with uh, the tax in the same structure. Proposed expensive Dieppe is responsible for the following elements. Been existing the venture in future for the development of industrial party acquiring of land. Example, what is necessary for the new water conduct and the expenses to the sale of uh, land, the expenses and the, the marketing for the sale. And so the council accept to include the future uh, expansion of industrial park in its capital investment on a long-term basis. That's for uh, number six. Number seven. We authorize the signing uh, 
addition uh, between expansion Diep and the city of Diep. The council authorized the municipal signing officer to sign the uh, long-term uh, agreement, the development of the Diep Industrial Park following the following expansion of Diep is giving city of Diep 25% of municipal property taxes generated by the new Diep Industrial Park development aviation sector, including already sold non-developed land as well as for sale for the five years following the construction and uh, completion of the said new development. That's for the uh, seven and uh, the eight one that will be made public tonight. Three plus the service agreement with three plus the council authorized extension of the service agreement with three plus corporation until to to uh, make a special attention to the implementation of the Southeast Workforce Development Strategy, entrepreneurship and business startup development and regional service delivery model, development of a regional market. Suspect that the following conditions for all three municipalities. One, non-voting presentation employee from each municipality on three plus corporation. A board of director will have come into effect in January 2021. Reports that presented by Three Plus Corporation must state the result achieved by the municipality. Three, the 2020-2024 service agreement between the municipality and Three Plus Corporation must be renegotiated and adopted by June 30, 2021. And four, an adjustment of the financial contribution of the possible due to pandemic impact. There are the eight directives that are to be made public tonight. So, to do this, there is a resolution as such. Ms. Arsenal, please. Merci, Monsieur Maire. Thank you, Your Worship. The Council ratified the directive adopted at close uh, meetings of Council uh, concerning the following uh, issues. One, expropriation settlement, Blue Thunder Construction, Blue Thunder Construction Limited, Limited, adopted December 9, 2019. Two, Achater land purchase, 1068 Charters Road, road. PID 0092 adopted January the 13th, 2020. Three, project funding, Melanson Road, Phase 2, adopted January uh, February the 10th, 2024, preliminary study, strategic planning, public transit, adopted June the 8th, 2020. Five, signing authority agreement, a greater Mountain International Airport Authority and Trans Aqua, adopted September 14, 2020. Six, adoption, funding structure, the industrial park expansion adopted September 14, 2020. Seven, signing authority. Supplemental agreement funding structure. Expansion du parc yeah. industriel de industrial park expansion adopted September 14, 2020. Eight. Service, service agreement. Plus. Three plus adopté corporation adopted October 20, 13, 2020. 2020. I shall move your worship. Moved by Councillor Arsenault, seconded by Councillor Brideau. On the question. No question. All those in favor say aye. Get reminded nay. It means all yes. If, if we don't see any no, the adoption is adopted as presented. This brings us to item 10.2.1 for community development municipal performance contamination of surplus. The bus for. Uh, Public trans transport is a property of the city of Dieppe. Presently, we have a fleet of four bus buses. The bus 701 is one of the oldest of the four in 2009. And uh, it has over a million uh, kilometers in its usage. We're at the point where it costs more to invest than it's worthwhile. So, as a uh, property of the city, we have to come back 
to identify as accidentary additional and get rid of it for the reading of the resolution. Mr. Gadet. Mr. Thibodeau. Thank you, Worship. That council determined bus 701 as a surplus item. I so move, Your Worship. Moved by Councillor Thibodeau, seconded by Councillor Boutier. On the question, no question. All those in favor say aye. Could remind it, nay. Carried as presented. This brings us to 10.3.1. Uh, repurchase of land, Mr. Milazzo. So here, two properties that were purchased by Cisco Canada in April 2005, they're identified in the resolution and they are still not developed. So in the agreement of purchase sale, it's possible for the municipality to uh, retake it. So we, you have in front of you an active uh, of that clause and that we go ahead with that purchase with an amount of $193,200. So it's our recommendation. And to, we'll have two more guidelines for lands that were sold to someone else, the authorizations, what we're looking for. For the reading of the resolution, Mr. Gaudet. Thank you, Your Worship. <laughs> That council accept to pay up to $193,200 plus professional fees for the repurchase of the parcels of uh, land identified under BID 7022-0629 and 7022-0637 as outlined in the agreement of purchase and sale. Dated April 13, 2005, between the city of the and Cisco Food Service Canada, subject to the conclusion of an agreement of purchase and sale with a third party for the resale of the said land. I so move. Moved by Councillor Gadet, seconded by Councillor Cormier. Are those in favor? Say aye. Reminded, nay. Resolution is carried. Sorry, 10.3.2. Sale of another piece of land, parcel of land. Here we repurchase two a piece of land, one of two that ends with uh, 629. We have a purchase sale agreement with Recro. Green Riddles for a parcel of 3.2 acres at, at, uh, at a price of $144,000. And we have want to proceed with the agreement of the purchase sale agreement. For the reading of the resolution, Mr. Thibodeau. Thank you, Worship. That council authorized the municipal signing officers to sign the agreement purchase and sale between the city of Dieppe and Brunswick Crane Rental Inc. for the sale of 3.2 acre parcel of land and identified under PID 7022-0629, located in Ferdinand Boulevard at the cost of $144,000 pursuant to the conditions uh, outlined in the agreement of purchase and sale pertaining to this transaction and subject to the conclusion of a repurchase agreement with the current landowner, I so move your worship. Moved by Councillor Thibodeau, seconded by Councillor Le Boutier on the question. No question, all those in favor say aye. And reminded, nay, carry as presented. This brings us to 10.3.3. Once again, a sale of land. I could have added the project's investment of $1.4 million and the work of construction should start in 2021. It's pertinent to this transaction. The next file on PID ending in 0637, 
I'm funding our second piece of land that we mentioned earlier. It's with seven six four seven two nine on New Brunswick for a size of two point one acre, and it's a convention at one hundred thirty nine thousand five hundred dollars for purchase and sale. It's a project that will be undertaken in the spring of 2021 also. And we talk about an investment of the customer of 1.4 million also. We strongly recommend to go ahead with the purchase and sale agreement for the reading, Ms. Arsenal. Merci, Monsieur le Maire. Your Worship. Que le Conseil the Council authorize authorize the municipal, municipal signing officer to sign the agreement of purchase and sale between the city of Dieppe and the number company 647290NB Inc. for the sale of a 3.1 acre parcel and Identify under PID 7022-06637, located on Ferdinand Boulevard, at a cost of $139,500 pursuant to the conditions outlined in the agreement of the purchase and sale pertaining to this transaction and subject to the conclusion of a repurchase agreement with the current land owner. I so move, Your Worship. Moved by Councillor Asano, seconded by Councillor Thibodeau. On the question, no question. All those in favor say aye. Oui. And reminded, nay. Resolution is carried as presented. This brings us to 10.4.1 for the adoption of the policy expansion DF 1. Mr. Mlanso. So now, for two years, we have an incentive to uh, incite people to go downtown. One of the clause is to revise it on a yearly basis. The staff and the members of the staff of Expansion Yep did the exercise. Here are the main elements of change or revision that were integrated, uh, added to this policy and it was presented to the council and expansion yet. Yeah. The first one is that the element of clinic was uh, removed from one of the incentives. It was an element that was not submitted as a request. We also submitted the financial incentive, the opening of the town. This new policy identified now three different zones that has an incentive compared to only one zone that uh, the, the map uh, shows three zones, A, B, and C. And we added an incentive for a parking underground. And this is allowed with the condition. There should be the habilitation on top of the parking. And also we added an incentive and the rebate of the construction, the building uh, permit. We could have a, a rebate, we could have a cap that would be presented to the budget. These are the key elements. Also, I would add that it is recommended that the revision only be done in three years and to take the time to read it and the developer and the bidders uh, should uh, put them in effect and to reevaluate them in three years. The major changes is recommended by the staff to proceed with the adoption. For the reading of the resolution, Councillor Leblanc. Thank you, Your Worship. That Council repeal policy expansion dash one to the plus nine that financial incentive for real estate intensification of downtown core and adopt the new policy EXPD 1 2020 entitled Financial Incentive for Real Estate Diversification of the Downtown Core. I so move. Your worship move by Councillor Leblanc, seconded by Councillor Cormier. On the question. Mr. Godet, you have a question? Thank you, Your Worship. Well, just a comment more than a question. If it has to, it's subject to all this kind of discussion that was had uh, over the last two weeks on these incentives. And the question that the 
director of only having a revision in three years, I have a concern. Uh, as to the zone that we call B, I think, that is found on Acadia, uh, on Acadie, that zone, the same street, has two zones. And there is a zone on the east side, that is B, and on the A, well, the, on the west side, there's A. There's two zones on the same street, and I wonder eventually if uh, if there will be a need to reconsider this, because what we're doing is we, we give a different uh, position on the same street with two different objectives. On the left, as you enter towards the, the city from the marsh, we have permission that we don't dare give on the other side of the street. Well, that could cause some conflicts eventually. I would like to see rather that we should evaluate this within the year if we notice that uh, there is a problem. Thank you. Thank you for the comments. Mr. Brito, is there something you want to add? No, no, no. You okay? All those, all those in favor of the resolution say aye. Country reminded nay. Carried as presented. This brings us now to water system installation on Burke Road. Mr. Nelson. 10.5.1. Yes, for sure, Your Worship. As you know, we presented uh, within the capital project the file of the Burke Road uh, file. There's a history to what happened with Burke Road. In 2007, we had in council a resolution that said that 80% of the citizens should ask the city for services because at that time, it was not part and parcel of the municipal priority as far as services uh, offered on that street. So now in order to proceed with the project that was brought forward within the budgetary session, we are making uh, an amendment that uh, stipulates we will go in the same principles, one third, one third, one third, as we do everywhere on the project of the integration of municipal water and sewage system, one or the other, if they don't have it already, this is to uh, deal with the 2007 and integrate it to uh, the city. For the reading, Mr. Benito, please. In your worship, that council authorized the installation of a new water system on Burke Road between De Rosier Street and Manasso Road and further authorized that the cost related to this installation be built to the users of a user charge basis pursuant section 117-8 on the local governance uh, according to the one third, one third, one third uh, formula based on the 2021 construction costs and that council uh, adopt that a resolution adopted on December 15, 2007, entitled User Charger on per and Chartersville Road be amended as follows. Deletion of text section one water on Burke Road between Alonson Road and De Rosier. From section beginning with the installation of sanitary sewer and water on Burke and Chartersville Road at page two of the said resolution. I so move your worship. Thank you. Who supports it? Monsieur Leblanc. Are those in favor? Is there any questions? Sorry. No question. Are those in favor? Say aye. Yes. Could I remind you the name? Carrie, that's presented. And that uh, conclude, completes or conclude the agenda. There's no municipal bylaws, no notice of motion that was sent to us, inquiries and announcement.
by members of council. I will start on my the normal order. Start with Mr. Guedet on my right. Thank you, Your Worship. I only have one question to ask. I don't have any news to reveal a question for the administration as to the closure or closing of municipal buildings such as the swimming pool. We uh, informed the public we will have uh, news on that. Do we expect that these news will be forthcoming shortly uh, within the next few days? Is Mr. Burke here? Mr. Burke, good evening. Can you hear me? Yes? Fine. Well, this afternoon, we had a meeting. The management team for emergency service with the aquatic center, some activities will start tomorrow morning. The blue and gold swimming team and aquaform. I don't have to list in front of me. I can't tell you exactly everything, but swimming course other than private courses, can we control the number of person? Public uh, uh, swimming courses will be uh, given at a later date, but now it's simply to control the number of person inside an installation to know. As far as reservation, the wearing of masks and the shower are not available in this phase, and they're not. So it, it does limit us somewhat. But as for the aquatic center, some of our activities will start tomorrow. As for the Le Blanc Center and Uniplex, the activities will continue in a slower pace uh, while we're in our range for zone one. There are only activities of practice that is allowed. We've limited the number of person uh, on ice to uh, guarantee a control and limiting the number of person uh, in the buildings to 50 person. It worked very well on the weekend. Some groups have uh, canceled, others will start it their activities in the next few days, but we work uh, jointly with uh, Hydro, and that's basically what we have as far as uh, an update for the time being. Thank you very much. That's all. Thank you. So, Mr. LeBlanc. Mr. LeBlanc. Yes, yes. I have nothing to add. Merci, Merci, Mr. Cormier, thank you, Your Worship. Simply to invite the citizens to be uh, cautious <laughs> with the damn uh, virus. Good evening, Mr. Benito. Your Worship, my colleague said what I was going to say. It's to invite the people to be so, so uh, careful in this uh, period uh, for Christmas season. It's important for each one of us individually to do our share, to be safe. That's uh, it for tonight, Your Worship. Thank you. Thank you. Ms. Arsenault. Merci, Monsieur le Maire. Moi, de même, vous aussi, faites beaucoup attention. Be very careful. Portez-vous bien, puis soyez safe. And be safe. Merci. Jump over, Councilor Thibodeau, Mr. Thibodeau. Thank you, Your Worship. One of my messages was said twice. I won't repeat it. My other message is... the uh, hope of uh, of hope is not over yet. Those who wanted to sponsor me, it's still time. And I'll be uh, bowled as of Wednesday night. Thank you. 
مثل بوتیه I can't wait to see that. I have nothing to add. Thank you. Thank you. Well, to uh, close in the same uh, vein as all my colleagues, well, we as the people to respect uh, the provincial guidelines and directives that are given by the provincial public health. And when we start going in to details, we can see quickly how things can really uh, uh, start uh, very fast and make a lot of damage in a community. Let's not go into more details, but it can happen quickly. We don't realize uh, how it can uh, uh, spread uh, in the community. So let's continue always uh, to follow all the guidelines, the hygiene uh, guidelines, whether it is to uh, wash our hands often, to cover ourselves uh, when we sneeze, uh, uh, whether it be to wear a mask, as you can see tonight, even if there's only myself and the administrator in the room, we give the example. Uh, these are the directives we've been given. We're not at ease, we all know, but we know. For things to improve, it won't be comfortable. What would be even worse is really to catch that uh, virus. Good evening, everyone. And the pleasure of uh, seeing you in the next few weeks. Good evening, everyone. Good night.